February 8th, the memory of the holy great martyr Theodore the Commander. The holy martyr Theodore was from Eucaeta of Galatia and dwelt in Heraclea of Pontus. He was a renowned commander in the military, and the report came to the emperor Licinius that he was a Christian and abominated the idols. Licinius therefore sent certain men to him from Nicomedia to honor him and ask him to appear before him. Through them, however, St. Theodore sent back a message that it was necessary for various reasons that Licinius come to Heraclea. Licinius, seeing in this a hope of turning St. Theodore away from Christ, did as was asked of him. When the emperor came to Heraclea, St. Theodore met him with honor, and the emperor in turn gave Theodore his hand, believing that through him he would be able to draw the Christians to the worship of his idols. Seated upon his throne in the midst of the people, he publicly bade Theodore offer sacrifice to the gods. But Theodore asked that the emperor entrust him with the most venerable of his gods, those of gold and silver, that he might take them home and himself attend upon them that evening, promising that the following day he would honor them in public. The emperor, filled with joy at these tidings, gave command that Theodore's request be fulfilled. When the saint had taken the idols home, he broke them in pieces and distributed the gold and silver to the poor by night. The next day a centurion named Maxentius told Licinius that he had seen a pauper pass by carrying the head of Artemis. St. Theodore, far from repenting of this, confessed Christ boldly. Licinius, in an uncontainable fury, had the saint put to many torments, then crucified. While upon the cross the holy martyr was further tormented. His privy parts were cut off, he was shot with arrows, his eyes were put out, and he was left on the cross to die. The next day Licinius sent men to take his corpse and cast it into the sea, but they found the saint alive and perfectly whole. Through this many believed in Christ. Seeing his own men turning to Christ and the city in an uproar, Licinius had Theodore beheaded about the year 320. The saint's holy relics were then returned to his ancestral home on June 8th, which is also a feast of the great martyr Theodore. Thee, o God, glory to Thee, O Heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O Good One. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Enlisted with the King of the heavens, thou didst become for him a noble commander, O trophy bearer and great martyr Theodore. With the weaponry of faith didst thou arm thyself wisely, and didst utterly destroy all the hordes of the demons. As a triumphant athlete of the Lord, wherefore we ever do faithfully call thee blessed. 
The chariotier of Pharaoh was sunk in olden times by Moses' rod, which wrought a mighty wonder when in the cross's form it struck the sea, dividing it in twain. And it led into safety sojourning Israel that fled by foot, chanting to the Lord God a song of praise. O holy great martyr Theodore, pray to God for us. O Lord, fair with the name that evokes God, who has proved to be a treasury of divine gifts, and all adorned with the grace of martyrdom, grant grace to them that praise thee and honour thee with hymns, O blessed Theodore. Holy great martyr Theodore, pray to God for us. Confirming thy God-given name by word and deed, thou distributes gifts freely unto those in need. For having thyself received every perfect gift that comes down from on high from the Father, thou enriches all who honour thee. Holy great martyr Theodore, pray to God for us. Having from childhood received strength and understanding from God, O blessed and all-wise, first thou manfully strikes down all fleshly passions and demons, and then with the Spirit's help thou didst destroy the wanton pride of tyrant foe. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Since thou wast skilful, prudent, and sensible, thou didst wisely outwit him that is skilled in wickedness, O wise Theodore, and thou didst ensnare Licinius with word and deed, showing him to be a worshipper of dead statues and nourished on empty hearts. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Grant victory to me that flee under thy shelter, O Immaculate and All-Holy Virgin, and ever snatch me out of adversities by thine intercessions, for thou hast given birth to the Word who is co-eternal, and of one throne with the Father and the Spirit. Of the vault of the heavens art thou, O Lord, fashioner, so too of the church art thou founder. Do thou establish me in unfeigned love for thee, who art the height of things sought for, and staff of the faithful, O thou only friend of man. O holy martyr Theodore, pray to God for us. Thou wast a fair and most comely youth, rightly illustrious for beauty both of soul and body, adorned with the godliness of virtues, and made fair with the wounds of martyrdom. Holy great martyr Theodore, pray to God for us. Guided by divine providence, O blessed Theodore, thou didst walk the path of the martyrdom of the Master, who enlarged thy heart with gifts of graces, and directed thee to thy heavenly calling. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Disdaining all the world's pleasures, and life's delights in the nobility of thy mind, O all-wise Theodore, thou didst prefer nothing to the love of the Saviour, but didst long for him with our brightness of soul. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I entreat thee, O blessed maid, and that alone gives birth to God, who changed the former curse into a blessing, became a curse for the sake of man, and saved the world. Taking up a divine set of weaponry, thou didst dash down the idols they seek therewith, arousing the angel's host to extol thy heroic fight. For thy mind was afire with divine longing for thy God, and thou nobly withstoodest in braving a death by fire. Wherefore, in accordance with thy name, thou bestowest divine gifts on them that ask, O great prize winner Theodore. For this cause we cry unto thee, intercede with Christ our God, that forgiveness of all their transgressions be granted to them that with longing Keep thy holy memory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. When from the Virgin thou hast been made flesh, O Christ, the sacred Simeon received thee joyfully, and cried aloud, Now lettest thou thy servant depart, O Master. And the blameless prophetess, Holiana the Glorious, offered thee a hymn of praise and confession of gratitude. And we cry unto thee, O Life-Giver, Glory to thee who was so well pleased. Thou art my 
my strength, thou art my power and might, O Lord. Thou art my God, thou who art not absent from thy father's arms. Thou, Lord, art my joy. Thou hast deigned to visit our lowliness and our poverty. To thee, therefore, I cry out with Habakkuk the prophet, Glory be to thy power, O friend of man. O holy great martyr Theodore, pray to God for us. Thy longing for God eclipsed all the substance of passionate attachment. Glory, pleasure, riches, soft living, and the much-voted eminence of fame. And so, all blessed Theodore, thou was exalted to the eminent height of martyrdom, on to unfading glory. Holy great martyr Theodore, pray to God for us. And round about the new law by the life-creating spirit, thou didst strenuously confound the exceedingly lawless law of the transgressors of the law, O blessed Theodore. Wherefore, having lawfully striven, thou hast put on the crown of righteousness from the right hand of the Master. Holy great martyr Theodore, pray to God for us. As the namesake of the gift of God, thou hast been given to the world as a divine gift, a gift worthy of love, a gift that makes every faithful man rich, a gift sweet both in deed and name to them that receive thee, who fittingly sends down gifts to all, and fulfills the petitions of thy servant. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As an imitator of Christ was fixed to a tree, thou after every bodily torture, after many an evil racking at the hands of the blood guilty, was stretched out on a cross in imitation of Christ. Wounded with arrows and grievously riven, but thou wast delivered therefrom by the power of Christ. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. As is due with tongue and soul, all with the faithful call thee the Queen and Sovereign Lady of the whole world, who in an ineffable giving of birth didst conceive the Master of the earth and the Creator of beauty. Wherefore, deliver from our tyrannous, wicked habits us who honour thee. Wherefore hast thou deprived me, and cast me the hapless one far from thy countenance, and the outer darkness has enshrouded and cast its gloom over me? Yet now I beseech thee, do thou convert me, and direct me to the light of thy precepts, O Lord my God. O holy great martyr Theodore, pray to God for us. With eloquence and great boldness, Thou tellest the glory of him that suffered in the flesh and destroyed death by death, O glorious Theodore, and making trial of many stripes because of the tyrant's fury, thou bearest the condemnation of crucifixion. Holy great martyr Theodore, pray to God for us. Imitating Christ's voluntary crucifixion with all thy resolve, thou didst suffer the same punishment when thou wast nailed to a cross, but in the stead of a spear, thou bearest the wounds of many arrows and the gorging out of thy eyes. Holy great martyr Theodore, pray to God for us. Thou was seen to be victorious, sound and complete after crucifixion, and every other rendering and mortification of thy members. For Christ, the author of life, who has overcome the world, revive thee by the hand of an angel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When the multitude saw the wonder wrought in the O Theodore, they lifted up their voice, magnifying the might of Christ, and denouncing the senseless madness of the destroyer and impostor Licinia. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou hast seedlessly born and given a body to the eternal light entire, even Christ, for the sake of them that praise thee with hymns, O maiden. Make him gracious, O all holy virgin, bride of God, that all be saved from the temptations of the alien. O Lord, be gracious to me, for many are mine iniquities, and from the pit of my wicked deeds raise me up, I pray, for unto thee have I cried. O God of my salvation and my Saviour, hearken unto me. O holy great martyr Theodore, pray to God for us. Through thy way of life thou shones with virtues and sound teachings of Theodore, and in brilliant contest thou didst flash like lightning, and now thou art a fervent protector, glorious in wonder-working. Holy great martyr Theodore, pray to God for us. O Theodore, great in sympathy, God has given thee as a physician to the suffering, an intercessor for sinners, the rescue of captives, 
the forgiveness of the guilty, and the comfort of the morning. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thy boneless blessings know no surfeit, nor thy beauty any equal, O Theodore. Wherefore accept my fiery longing, and grant me abundant grace. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let thine inexpressible compassion now shine on me, O maiden, delivering me from the deep of sin and despair, and guiding me to the heavens of repentance. In courage of soul, and furnished with the arms of faith, Thou tookest in hand the word of God as though a spear, and didst put thy foe to flight, thou great boast of martyrs, O Theodore. Now together with them, O saint, cease not to entreat Christ God for all of us. Come, O ye faithful, let us all crown Theodore, the shining ornament of athletes with crowns of hymns. For he has been shown to the world as a great gift of God in the beams of his miracles. For he overcame the enemy Belial in his venerable contests, and he showers down, instead of blood, torrential streams of healings. Together with all the athletes, therefore, he rejoices in Christ and grants peace that has no end. Hence we cry to him, Cease not to entreat Christ God for all of us. Cease not to entreat Christ God for all of us. Aforetime in Babylon the fire once reverenced the condescension of God. For this reason the children while well in the furnace with joyful step danced about as in a flowering meadow while chanting thus, O Lord and God of our fathers, praised and blessed art thou. O holy great martyr Theodore, pray to God for us. Since thou hast come to knowledge of the Lord, who was lifted up on the tree and rent in pieces the boastful serpent, O athlete Theodore, thou in imitation of Christ was lifted up on a cross together with him, and having suffered death thou art risen again with him. Holy great martyr Theodore, pray to God for Knowing us. Knowing thee to be a fervent lover of God's undefiled glory, O Theodore, with my whole heart I have bound my soul to love of thee, committing to thee all the expectation of my hope this day may know. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In thy members thou hast glorified the Lord, who is glorified in the counsel of the saints, and who has greatly glorified thee in return in the wonder-working and manifold miracles, both when thou abode on earth, and after thy death, O wise martyr. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In an ineffable conceiving thou gavest birth to the Holy of Holies, O thou who alone art graced of God, and thou hast remained a virgin as thou hast before giving birth, O, o Immaculate One. Wherefore we cry to thee the greeting of the angels, Blessed art thou, O pure virgin. The Chaldee tyrant, mad with rage, fired his furnace a blazing flame seven times more hot against the worshippers of God. But seeing them kept in safety by a power greater than his, he then cried aloud, Ye children, bless the Creator, the Saviour and Redeemer. O ye priests, sing his praises. Exalt him, O ye people, to all the endless ages. O holy great martyr Theodore, pray to God for us. The destroyer Licinius, that unhallowed madman, having wholly surrendered himself entire unto the demons, subjectest thee to penalties of diverse torments, rending thy back and breast with ox hide whips, crushing thy neck with lead balls, cutting thy sides with iron claws, and burning them with torches. Holy great martyr Theodore, pray to God for Displaying us. Displaying unrelenting patience, invincible endurance, and supernatural fortitude in manifold torments and ravage rackings, thou didst outstrip the contest of all the martyrs, and in partaking of the master's passion on the cross, and enduring yet more, thou wast the more greatly glorified. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. When thou wast stretched out on a cross, O Theodore, thou didst feel up in thine own flesh that which was behind in Christ's afflictions. For thou didst endure not only being nailed in thy hands and feet, but thou wast also pierced with an iron goad in thy privy member. Thou wast castrated, 
and thine eyes were gorged out with arrows. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We know thee to be a noetic ladder reaching unto heaven, whereby the Most High descended wearing flesh, conversed with the man, and exhorted those of low degree unto the lofty life of the heavens. Hence we honour thee, O Virgin, who art higher than the heavens, and the angels, and all created things. The heavens were astonished, and stood in awe, and the ends of the earth made were sore amazed. For God appeared bodily to mankind as very man, and lo, thy womb is proved to be vaster and more spacious than heaven's heights. For this, O Theotokos, the choirs and assemblies of men and angels magnify thy name. O holy great martyr Theodore, pray to God for us. The assembly of angels were astonished, observing thy courage, O commander. The whole multitude then present was amazed at thy bravery, O glorious Theodore. The army of demons shuddered at thy trophies, and now the world applauds the honour that thou hast received, and every faithful man praises thy wonder. Holy great martyr Theodore, pray to God for well, us. Well, now every breath cries out concerning thy many and great trophies, the sun shone in thee and through thee, the being raised from the dead and made whole from mangling, the restoration of health to the ailing, the release of those in bones, and the consolation of the afflicted. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Since thou hast boldness with Christ, for whose sake thou underwent every punishment, enduring even unto mutilation, burning death, and the cross, O Theodore, Ask for forgiveness of our wicked deeds, peace for the world, victory for our hierarchs, and salvation for them that honour thee. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The race of mortals has been exalted, glorified, and deemed worthy of higher honour through his kinship with thee, O maiden, and it has obtained divine adoption by thy mediation. For God appeared ineffably bearing flesh from thee, remaining unchanged in his divinity. O thou great martyr Theodore, our Christ's renowned commander, thou godly gem and ornament of honour trophy bearers, O great in wisdom and courage, cease not to ask that victory may be conferred upon the church, lasting peace on the whole world and for us all, who observe thy memory bright with splendor, complete forgiveness of our sins, and that we find salvation. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honourable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Father, bless. May he who deigned to be carried on the arms of righteous Simeon for our salvation, Christ, O true God, the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the Holy and All-Praised Apostles, with the power and under the protection of the Holy Life-Giving Cross, and all the Holy Bodiless Powers of Heaven, with the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes the Great, Brandon the Navigator, Oren of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, protectors of our monastery and our community. With the prayers of the holy great martyr Theodore the Commander, with the prayers of the holy prophet Zacharias, with the prayers of the holy martyrs Nisiphorus and Stephen, with the prayers of Saints Martha and Mary the sisters, with the prayers of the holy martyrs Philadelphus and Polycarp, 
with the prayers of St. Onko, St. Alfred of Whitby, St. Kiwi and St. Kaufman, and all of those with them whose memory we keep this day. And the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. And the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.